Hi, this is Victor Antonio with another sales presentation tip. Let me ask you a key question. Who do you sell to? Think about that for a second. Who do you sell to? Now, if you're watching this video, you probably say, well, Victor, I sell to clients, people who buy. No, let's be more specific. Who do you sell to? Here's who you sell to. You sell to this person, the brain. This is what you're always selling to when you're doing a presentation. Now, I want to talk about the brain a little bit, but I want to just talk about one aspect of this brain. This brain is an energy miser, a cognitive miser. What does that mean? This brain hates to think. It likes things to be simple. It doesn't want to use up energy thinking about things. So anytime it can reduce the amount of energy it uses, it will do so. Which is why when you are doing a presentation, you're really talking to the brain. You're really talking to the brain and you're trying to keep the brain's attention. Now the problem is that the brain gets bored very easily. For example, if the brain knows where your presentation is going, the brain says to himself, well, I know where this is going, and then it reallocates its processing time to some other activity. This is why people get on their phones, because they already know where you're going. The brain says, I know where that's going. Let me just use my energy to do other things. In this case, check my email while you're talking. So who are we selling to? We're always selling to the brain. We're trying to always keep its interest, pique its interest, and you should do it two ways. One is you want to grab its attention by showing them new stuff, novelty. That's what the brain likes. Things that it doesn't know about. It says, hey, that's interesting. But you also want to create some tension with the brain like, all right, if we don't do this, this may happen and set up some type of drama, okay, during your presentation. If you don't use our product, here's some of the downsides that you may experience in the market. You should get the idea. So the brain likes novelty, likes a little bit of tension and your job is to throughout the presentation is to remember that the brain is an energy miser it doesn't want to use energy listening to your presentation but our job to fight against the brain is to present information that is so compelling so insightful that the brain can't help but pay attention this is victor antonio with my brain reminding you selling it hard when you know how take care